R ask Reddit asks parents of Reddit what is the best weird flex but okay moment you've seen from your child my son told me he doesn't need school because he already knows the name of 10 dinosaurs edit for anyone who wants to know my son's favorite dino is the Spinosaurus kids got a valid point I mean that's why I dropped out my seven-year-old said I know everything until you ask me a question well, okay. A master of quantum knowledge I see. I just played a game in group therapy where you name a band starting with the last letter of the previous band and have 10 seconds till you're out. Example someone says Nirvana. You say Aerosmith. Next person says Hoobastank. I lost and thought of like 5 band names once I wasn't put on the spot. My son started second grade this week. A couple of weeks ago the school sent out postcards with the date and time of the open house and his teacher's name. I asked him if he was excited to be in Mrs. Sir and So's class. And he said yes. But he's also worried. I asked what he was worried about and he said, what if she falls in love with me and wants to marry me? I laughed and reassured him that he need not worry. Since she's already married. Kids' brains are so amusing like that he remember being 8 to 9 and super stressed out about one day needing to get married. Like lying awake at night worrying. The reason? Well when you get married you kiss the bride afterwards in front of everyone and I didn't know how. Never did occur to me that if I was getting married that problem would have sorted itself out a long time prior, our kids. When my son was about 5 we went to visit relatives in the Washington, D.C. area. We were on the metro when my son eyed a very pretty professional young woman. I've got a lot of blocks. He told her. If you come to my room I'll show you. Then he made motorcycle noises for about 10 seconds. You're gonna have your hands full when he starts dating. When I was an after school tutor for primary school kids, I excused a boy to the bathroom. He came back telling me he made the biggest poo in the world. He intentionally didn't flush so that I could come look at it. I told him that was great. But it was art time. He said his big poo was art. My kid wanted company in the bathroom the other day. Then he said, I love pooping, with a sigh of contentment. A regular Pablo Pucazo. A Jackson Pulak. A friend of mine had two young boys. The older one, maybe five, was sitting with him and pointed at a white hair and said, What's this papa? Quote, My friend said, Oh it just means I'm getting old, and his son looked at him dead serious. Looked at his brother and said, Well, I guess it's justice and mom soon. Ha. Huh. Quote dot. I was climbing trees with my six-year-old niece when she asked me, How can you climb trees if you're so old? To which I replied, I'm 27, then she said in a sympathetic voice, Wow, your life is half over. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Kids are fucking ruthless. When I was six my absent father came back into my life briefly and I paraded him around all of my friends bragging saying, This is my dad. I bet you thought I didn't have a dad. But I did. He was gone again within a month. LMAO. Kids really want a dad don't they? My son, four at the time, was, I guess, trying to impress the six-year-old neighbor girl. He leaned casually on his arm and said, I have lots of accidents. Pee and poop accidents. I hope for his sake his pickup lines improve. So I heard you're into bad boys. Dot. My brother tried to impress the girls next door by telling them he had head lice. When my son was five. A waitress at Applebee's asked him how old he was. To which he exclaimed, I'm five and I pooped today. I think everyone within four tables of us was very impressed. Edit. Wow this post really blew up. Awesome stories all. I've enjoyed reading them all. Thanks for the medals as well. Rip my inbox. How my dad took my daughter out to eat once when she was two and the server asked if she was ready for ice cream and she said, no. I have a poop coming. He just said, well, more room for ice cream then. Which I think was pretty dope for someone being paid basically nothing to work at Applebee's. My four-year-old son kept peeing on the toilet seat because he wouldn't hold his penis. 
I told him he had to start holding it and his response was, I can't hold it because it's too big, edit. Well, after spending seven years on Reddit my most popular comment is now about my four-year-old's penis. Thank you? What a chad. Throw some Cheerios into the toilet and tell him he wins if he hits them. That's how I've potty trained boys. My six-year-old son recently put his foot down letting me know it was not okay for me to tell him what he could wear or not because he is allowed to have his own fashion. Okay, fine. Shorts, sandals and one black sock it is. I contemplated having a button made that said, I dressed myself today for my children to proudly wear them not realizing it was mostly so other adults would stop judging me for my kids fashion choices edit thanks for the silver i'm glad my random comment sparked such a lively conversation your son is the epitome of our streetwear katie you have to eat three more green beans before you're excused no no more three more i'm gonna eat four more quote exclamation mark oh no you got me good my son is good with this. Me. Okay mate. Five minutes till you have to hop out of the bath. Son. No. Three minutes. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Righto. My son was in the tub and asked exactly how old he was. Me. Um, about four years. Ten months. And four days. After a few moments of deep thought. I heard him say quietly and reverently to himself. Dot and I haven't been bit by a single wild animal. Oh man, still kills me. Edit. Thanks for the silver and gold. I will take him for ice cream today to celebrate his continued escape from squirrels. I don't know. We live in a city. Not my kid, but a friend of mine was trying to teach his daughter to pick up her toys when she was younger. When she didn't do it one time. He told her he was going to throw away everything that was still on the floor. She picked them up and put them in the trash can for him. My nephew is four and thinks he's cooler than everyone else because he can tuck in his shirt by himself. For a four-year-old. That's impressive. I know some middle schoolers who can't do that. Hell, I'm 33 and I still struggle with that sometimes. My toddler just threw her dinner on the floor started clapping, yelled H-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-O-
that's when you muster up all your uncle's strength and throw her in the pool extra hard. You're gonna have a bad time. You should be worried for her future. Had an Amber Alert hit my phone one night while my then Sixio was playing a game on it. She asks what that was and I explained it's a message that gets sent out of a kid gets kidnapped. She looks at it again and sees it's for a town over two hours from where we live. She then asks me why they sent her if it's so far away. I said because they want everyone to look and find the kid. Wouldn't you want everyone to look if you got kidnapped? They want to find the kid so they don't get killed. She leans over close to my ear and whispers, I'm very difficult to kill. Didn't see that coming lol. Good story. My son is a freerunner in his spare time. So I often find him in weird places. He's 16 now. But even as a baby. I'd find him on top of the piano. At the top of the closet. Etc. He could climb anywhere. Recently. I found him standing in the branches of a tree down the street. Staring off into space. I asked what he was doing. And he said. I'm just hanging out. Okay. Man. Whatever works for you. Sounds like your son is actually a cat in disguise. Spider-Man in the making. Congrats on your son discovering Wade. My 10-year-old son bragged the other day that his hair looked like Martin Freeman's. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. What the fuck? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Thank you for watching, please like and subscribe to support the channel, and above all, have an excellent day you incredible people.